Hey folks, Machine Repeat here out on the road today in Evansville, Wisconsin. I'm here with Kale George, George Auction Service. Now Kale, I have to tell you a big thank you for the heads up on your sale here, which is next Tuesday, is it Tuesday the 26th? Correct, yes. And it's the uh, farm auction for George Andrew Maple, is it Maple Grove, Maple Grove Farms? Yes. Okay, you weren't lying, you, you said, Pete, this is some nice stuff, uh, man, it is. So again, thank you for the heads up, Kale. We'll talk more in just a bit. Folks, now we're gonna pan around, and this is the owner. This is George Andrew uh, with Maple Grove Farms. Now, George, I understand you've been getting a question frequently when people come over to look at the equipment. George, are these 4020s for sale? And they the answer is no. They are not for sale. <laughs> I, uh, could, I could sell them, every time somebody walks in, they wanna, they'd like to have them, and I, I wouldn't sell them no matter what. Boy, they are beautiful. Folks, we've been just doing some filming for our Machine Repeat TV show. Did a little feature with George on the 4020s here, and uh, understand, George, it was just, what, three years ago you got these things? Yep. Okay. And uh, the reason you said you, you kind of grew up around them and just had kind of made them, made you think of your dad a little bit? Yes. I grew up on a 4020. Okay. And we had those, we had four of them at one point, and my dad used to tractor pull. Okay. Loved, we loved, we, it was a family affair. We loved sure. the tractor pull, and... This is the one I'm standing by right now is the one that he always pulled. Mm. And I wanted to take and have one redone identical to what he pulled. And this is what we come up with. Wow. How did that feel when this thing was finished and you got to put, put your eyeballs on it? Oh, I tell you, it was a great feeling. It just really re reminded me of my dad and, right. and the good times we had tractor right. pulling. Right. And this is a 71 here on the left. And on the right, the wide front is a 72, is that right, George? Yes. Okay. Now, again, folks, these are not on the auction on Tuesday, but if we pan around here, I'm telling you what, some awful nice equipment. In the background there, George, we've got your combine, which is, I think, a 12 model S670, 2172 engine hours? Yes. Two-wheel drive? Yes. Okay. And that's a one-owner machine? One-owner machine. Okay, which all of this stuff, as I pan around here, folks, this is all one-owner. George, this is your 11 model 9230. Um, and folks, maybe you saw the preview video. Uh, and by the way, you were great in that preview video, George. Thanks for doing that. But this thing, how many hours on the 9230? Uh, there's 2,941, 20, I think. 2,941, okay, three-point PTO and all new tires? All new tires and pre-def. Pre-def. Yeah, that rings the bell these days, doesn't it? Yes. Everybody's looking for a pre-def tractor right. if they can find it, but they're getting hard to find. And they're also looking for loaded planners, and man, do we got one back there, folks. A 19 model, 1775 NT, 24 row, uh, 2,350 acres. Now, your guy, Bruce, who you've been working with for many years, kind of a cute story. He's been running your planner for years, and you said he was a little upset with you when you bought that thing. When I came home and told him I bought him a new 24 row planner, he just said, George, it's too big. <laughs> what did you have before? I had a 16 row. Okay. And I said, Bruce, it's only eight more rows. I said, it won't <laughs> hurt you a bit. Now, after he ran it once, what, what was his reaction then? Well, he ran it for a day and a half. The first day, he kind of had his feet against the wall and he just yeah, didn't change, like running it. Change is it, difficult. Yes, but after a day and a half, it was the best thing I ever bought. Wow, there you go. Awesome. And I understand we can get a lot of phone calls on it. Yes, George? a lot of phone calls. Yeah. Well, folks, if you want a loaded up plan and ready to go, there you go, 19 model. And George, take a walk with me here around to look at your 9510R, your beautiful four-wheel drive. This is a 13 model, and I forget, is it 1,350-some hours on that thing? Uh, 1,358? I think uh, 19. 1,958, correct. Yep. Okay. 13 model, again, a one-owner. Um, which dealer did you buy that one from? Bought that from Mid-States. Mid-States. In Jamesville. Okay. okay. Uh, and what would you say about that, that beast? Uh, I'll tell you, it's a tractor that, that has been very good. It, no mechanical problems whatsoever. Uh, good runner. It's got power shift. Uh, got the premium lights, premium cab. And I think the next new owner is going to have an awful nice tractor. Well, an awful nice tractor, awful nice planner. Awful nice combine. And again, George, thank you for telling us about them. We wish you good luck on your sale on Tuesday the 26th. And where's our guy, Kale? Kale, come back here. Okay, so the sale uh, online bid is an online auction. 
and it's Tuesday the 26th. And your guys' website for George Auction Service, if yeah. people want more info, where do they go? Yeah, georgeauction.com. And then uh, there will be the, the link on there for the online bidding, be through high bid. Right. And uh, they can go there. And uh, if they have any questions on any piece, of course, they can call George or contact us with right. any questions. Well, Kale, thank you for that. And I got to say that the blue of Georgia Auction Service looks pretty good with this uh, John Deere green here. Yeah. So thanks again, Kale. Yeah, you bet. Thanks. Perfect. Your next piece of equipment is on MachineryPete.com. Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on MachineryPete.com.